Mare of Easttown. Listen. That's the dog. That's Toffee. Is she humping something? Yeah. So, welcome Hi, to everyone. our channel if this is the first time. We don't usually start off. Can I just show off my t-shirt? Drunk again. I've been harpooned. I don't know why, it just makes me chuckle. Hello, everyone. Mayor of Easttown, I'm sorry. It it doesn't get better than Mayor no. of Easttown. For me, it's... Oh, I can't, I want to binge watch it. Each time we get to the end of the episode, I'm desperate to watch the next one. Like I would, I would binge watch it. It's so but I'm layered, kind of glad yeah. that we are getting to digest it because I've been thinking about, because we're going to review two episodes five today. Five and six. But I spent the whole week after five thinking about it and I've spent, since I watched it, can we just episode yeah, yeah. Six, I've been, six I've been thinking just about. Just pause it. for a moment and just, just share and let's maybe sort of indulge ourselves in Kate Winslet. Because I think we both in different ways. I was less critical than you, perhaps. But I don't think we came to this thinking when either of us were particularly huge Kate Winslet fans. Well, um, now. I am an enormous fan now. I mean, oh, I gosh. think she's brought such a level of, of realism and depth to this character. I, I find the whole community you so believable. You said yesterday, you said, I feel like I know her. Like if I met yeah, her, yeah, I yeah. would just know her. Yeah. Not, not, her, not Kate, but no, no, Mare. No, no, the character, yeah. You would meet Mare. And, and she is, she has utterly inhabited that character. I mean... She's what? Inhabited? That character. Utter, no, way you said it. Utterly. Utter, I love it when you say utterly. No, but like she that. has. No, no, you're right. You're true. She's true. not acting. No. She's not acting at all. She's but, under the skin. She is mayor. I mean, she just is. But mayor. neither is anyone else in the show. And I think that's the point. Yeah. It's, it's the in, they're, they're all inextricably entwined with each other. And, and in the direction, and it starts with the writing. And also, I have to say, I, th I think something that's really added to this series for all the actors... It's principally looks like it's been shot in real locations. So I think that mm. gives them the opportunity to really exist in a mm. real space. Whereas mm. you'd know as an actress, you know, if you're plonked in a sort of studio, you're having to do an imaginative mm. leap way beyond what, you know, you're having to do normally. So uh, I, I just think it's really rich. It's, it's really rich. So as we said, we're going to review two. So we'll start with episode five. Yeah. Oh. Well, what an <laughs> what a content rich episode. Yes, yeah, so there episode was five. just so much going yeah. on. And this was the episode in which Evan revealed that he had a bit of a. Who saw that coming? I know that was odd, wasn't it? And the one where Guy Pierce completely disappeared. That was strange. Very odd. Do you think Guy Pierce has simply been cast as a red herring? I'm starting to wonder. Do you know what I mean? I think. They expect everyone to go, well, he's Guy Pearce. Yeah, so he's yeah, going yeah. to have done something. It's going to be something big and dramatic. But maybe the biggest spoiler of this whole series is going to be that Guy Pearce is just a nice guy. Yeah. So I spent most of my time avoiding uh, Lee, your friend Lee Pearce's enthusiasms online. Lee maintains, if he watches this, that he didn't reveal anything. But when I repeated what he'd said in his, his tweet, you said it was a spoiler. And so hurtling towards the end of this episode, I had a sort of, I knew that his theory was that Evan Peters' character mm. was potentially the murderer. Um, and I think it's done a really good job of giving us some kind of obvious candidates, but then removing their obviousness, but then leaving just enough doubt for you to yeah, wonder, like the there's priest. There's doubt for everyone. Yeah, like yeah. Betty, like Betty has a heart attack in this episode, episode five, yeah. and dies. And you go, hmm. She's had a heart attack. I mean, there was the airbag. Well, Betty didn't She was do dead. It. No, but because they did such a good job of entwining yeah. her, but then she's just part of the community. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. all of her scenes were just being part of the community. Yeah. And I, th I suppose it really showed you what it's like, a real police officer's job. Yes. Because actually everyone can be suspicious under suspicion yeah. actually and was it in episode um, five also that the girl in the young sort of teenage group went to find helped the boys well was under duress forced yeah. to help and the boys this find the journal and yeah, she yeah. takes the piece of paper of course <gasps> in episode six we find this photograph not but we don't know what's on it yet but we, don't we still haven't seen what's photograph. on it and yeah this was really interesting to us i couldn't have been more shocked when she took them over to the other Vestibule, and there were the journals. I know. She told the lie. I know. To Mare. How dare Why? she? What a mare. What has happened? Drugs are a big part of this. Yeah, yeah. The drug situation, I think that nasty boy is the dealer of the community. He's getting nastier and nastier. So when 
I think he's I think he's a really deep down dirty drug dealer. Mm. I think that's why Erin kept asking him for the money because why would Erin think he'd have the money for her son's ear? Yes. Ear problem. Yes. It's because stashed under his bed he's got thousands upon thousands. Wow. That's why in episode 6 when he says to Erin's friend we're all part of the same thing. In episode 5 we think is it a sexual thing? Mm. Drugs. Money and drugs. Money and drugs. And of course, in episode five, they meet the prostitute, don't they? Uh, Mayor manager. I mean, what well, I liked about Let's just rewind a bit and go to them going out to dinner. Well, because yes. that, I thought, was, was an absolutely beautiful scene played by Evan. Yeah. And it was absolutely heartbreaking. Yeah. And she, what we saw her at her most brutal. We saw the flint She of her. just. Yeah. She's so brutal. Of course, in episode five, we also saw the reality of what her living with her son had been like. Yeah, absolutely. But I, I, and I love the fact that Evan Peters is this vulnerable... And also, Evan Peters reveals... I can't remember where he revealed it, but he revealed the fact that really he didn't solve yeah. the murder. So he that wanted actually, to do something great. Yeah, so but he's that got, made but me he's think got he was the murderer when he got, said that. He's got this reputational pressure on him, which I think is really sweet. And I think the way he plays it, is, has played it, is so good. The way he's constantly sort of looking at her, no, no. fidgeting, looking at her. No. What? When he revealed that at the dinner, it actually made him more suspicious to me. Because I thought, oh my God. Yeah, no, I'm talking about, that... I'm talking about in retrospect. No, you no. realise now that he was actually looking with genuine, genuine professional. No, but let's go back to, re we're reviewing episode five. Up until we saw him shot, we still thought he could be the murderer. Yeah, yeah. So at that point at dinner, when he was doing a bit of a like, oh, I wish I'd done a great thing. I thought, oh, oh my didn't. God, he's somebody that has to have power. He has somebody that has I didn't. to rape. That's what he's you thought. He's somebody no, that has to thought. murder. I didn't think that at all. No, but he was, he was still under no, no, suspicion. No no, 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 no. At that point, I saw a different side to him. When he said, my mum said you would only want to take me out so you could get closer to the case, all of the kind of suspicions for me were starting to evaporate at Not that for point. Me. Not no, that no, point. they were. They I was, I was, no, for me, I was still suspicious. I know, but you're saying no definitively, and I'm saying yeah, no, no for me. me. Not for you. Yeah, for but me. for me, but you're railroading. Oh, you're really annoying. No, I'm, I'm saying not. no, not for me. Yeah, but it, not for me. Oh my God, I feel like no. I'm losing my fucking mind. I'm saying it, you, you, my, you yeah. forgave him everything. I didn't. Yeah, I my was truth still was suspicious. Evan Peters' truth. So, anyway. Then they go and meet up with the prostitute. He's been basically Evan then is then inveigled into her sort of. She shouldn't be investigating the case anyway. No, he She's off the her. case. He hasn't got the brain to do it. Of course he does, and I think that's why because he because he's he's weak. enamoured with her. He's not, no, he's weak. He's enamoured. He's he was a, young, a weak detective. He admitted it. It wasn't weak. He, he was un, into another He was inexperienced. Work. He was inexperienced. You're being brutal with him. Bloody well. hell. What do you mean? Especially when we find out at the end it wasn't him and you can now retrospectively say actually he was all no, those I'm things. I'm still in a place where I'm thinking that he's having to overpower a woman and have control over it because he feels <laughs> powerless because he's never done anything great. Well, okay. So then we meet the prostitute who then gives... She was very good, yeah, that young girl. Gives some brilliant evidence. She yeah, she was great. So good. I mean, it's really hard to yeah. come in and do such a small, small part, part. Yeah. and to just give it and to be very small with it. Mm. You know, she she... I absolutely believe this beautiful young woman mm. was a prostitute out with. Oh, absolutely! And she she explained it so brilliantly. And really. then we went. Then we entered a scene that, for me, was a little bit reminiscent of films like Silence of the Lambs, Manhunter. She gives them the colour of a van. They go knocking around the and neighbourhood. I thought they were going to get him. I thought they were going to end up with him. Mayor's brother-in-law, or is he a brother-in-law, or is he her friend's yeah, yeah. We, husband? Really, yeah. Not really sure what the relationship is there. But um, I thought it, it, we were going to end up with him, beard, slightly large built. And then we end up in this house where he's playing music loudly. And it, oh turned, into, it turned into a horror I movie. I thought this can't point. be real. I loved it. You see, that was another twist. Yeah. You would never believe that. But we did say early on these are two different murderers. Mm, but, we did. Um, because she wasn't kidnapped. Aaron wasn't kidnapped. His thing. I did. I did. Mark, you're really fucking <laughs> annoying me. Um, the, he's MO or MD? What is MO. It? MO. Modus operandus. Yeah. Is to is to kidnap. Who's? Well, the guy who murdered them. <laughs> Did he no, murder them? Didn't murder them. Did he them. murder them? Oh God, yeah. what about when she said there was one girl but she got pregnant and he doesn't like it when you get pregnant? No, don't. And that's all you needed to know that this was a sexual kidnapping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. So they go in the house and then obviously oh. I know you guys have been waiting for our reaction to episode five because at the end of episode five, I have never leapt out of my seat 
so, so much. Shot. I didn't actually believe it. It was like I'd been in the room no, it was and somebody like right next burnt. to me had been shot. It was like I was burned. She was burned. And it was really? the most shocking moment as Evan is revealed to be just an inexperienced cop who can't even get his gun out quickly. Yeah, you saw useless. him. She went, gun! Because yeah. she was there before. Yeah. He hadn't even bloody thought to put his hand on his gun. Which is very brutal on him. He's no, dead. it was very annoying, babe. He could have saved it all. He could have shot he that guy's head He loved her. Hang off. on a minute. He'd, he'd actually gone in. He'd well, actually I kissed her. Get, I wonder if I should get my gun. He'd actually kissed her. Oh, he he shouldn't so, have been a policeman. He was a rookie. He shouldn't have been a policeman. He was a rookie. He was learning the well, ropes. Well, it's like she said. One, it's terrible to be famous for great things because then people expect it so he'd got this fame hadn't well, he? that's what i'm saying the but, pressure of yeah. the pressure of being supremely brilliant uh he's dead but then the l wonderful last shot of episode five of course was kate winslet sat slumped in the doorway having been shot at herself who's managed to wrestle the gun and, ki and kill kill the kidnapper so suddenly she's flipped from bad cop naughty cop illegal cop to savior cop even though, actually, I think under strict rules and guidance, if that had happened, she'd have been probably dismissed because she shouldn't have been there. <clears throat> I thought, oh my God, she's going to have a book thrown at Yeah, she's I thought, be good. Well, didn't you think she's that, She's going to be done for murder. That could be a little bump in the narrative. This is how fucked up narrative. this world is, that yeah. somebody saves two girls that have been kept as sex saved and you get done for murder. Yeah, yeah, exactly, because he wouldn't be dead yeah. if it wasn't for her, for her taking him yeah, following her. Yeah, but it's a miracle. <clears throat> You're allowed to kill people. That's right. You? Episode six, episode six. Now, episode six, you said, when I said to you what was the most overriding <laughs> thing about episode six, we saw, as you said, and I'll let you talk, uh, you said um, well, we like saw a was, different <clears throat> side to her. Brilliantly, again, with the writing, performing, and direction, that we saw another side to her, but we didn't have to do this handbrake turn that so often no. happens rather. Oh, now we're going to see how lovely the woman is, really. Deep yeah. down, she's not a nasty person. No, she was still authentically her mm. but we saw her vulnerable and we saw probably because i actually just want to jump back quickly to episode five when we saw that short scene of her son running after and she looked so different didn't she she didn't mm. have any roots and she looked soft and mm. she looked not soft i don't want to use that word because it's such a sexist word but she looked Unfettered. she looked unbroken because yeah. now we are only seen as broken she's been and she looked up. terrified mm. yeah she's been bittered up bittered yeah, up scarred. rather than toughened up scarred um, and I think there were so many moments in this that we saw that were just beautiful, beautiful moments with her friend, mm. with her mother, with well, her you, breakdown. Yeah, with her, yeah. You know, she said she does the one thing that she said to her shrink at the beginning. There's no way you'll ever, you'll never get to a breakthrough with mm. me. Mm. And then when the shrink says, "Take me back, take me through the day that your son died," my God, the way she did was that. Was so good, wasn't it? Because it was so sort of tough and it was so sort of, her eyes were so sort of impassive. She was shattered. And yet at the it same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was to be shattered able to. Shattered images. She, yeah. She, it was like she was, every time but to she be able, blinked, but, but she to be saw able to another perform, image of what had happened. But to be able to give some depth and nuance to something that to, uh, an unseasoned actor would just look shocked. And she was in shock and she was re revisiting and she was re-watching all of the things that she'd seen with her son. I think it, it's, it's peerless. When she peerless. Ran, in, ran into the house. Mm. Oh, yeah. What, when, After her daughter Because they, in flashback, explain how her, son, how her son killed himself. It was tragic. Right, I mean, there were, there were many moments in this episode where you cried. I was, I was very tearful. It was very, it's very much about mental health. And I think this episode, episode six, is very much about... Is it episode six? Yeah, I think it's very much about the sort of breaking down of her shell and the breaking down of her exterior and how she's kind of becoming more... There was a lovely moment as the story starts to unfurl and the suspicion starts to surround the two nephews, if you like, or cousins of the girl who died in the forest. Uh, they're related to her, aren't they? I mean, they're, they're all in the same family. Um, and as the kind of, as, as, as the circle started to tighten and they started to kind of home in on this particular bloke, I forget what his name is, which one he is. He, he, Billy. Billy. Um, you know, even when she told her friend that she'd done the right thing, there was a compassion was creeping into her. Sorry, just there was a compassion creeping into her as well, wasn't there? Uh, there really was. And yeah, I think that's the right word, compassion. And... But just that... But not a sudden... It was like an not a sudden thing. vulnerability that no. was unbelievable. No. That's what I liked about it. And of course, there was just so many gobsmacking moments, weren't there? 
Well, I mean, like... when the dad shaking, he said he came in that night, he was covered in blood about Billy. I thought the actor who played the dad of those two really... guys was really good. He <laughs> Again, was just there for a minute. Part. Small part. Brilliant. Little moments that make this, the little moments that, the, that create a huger impact, are like the moments between Mare and her mum when she says, have you farted? And she's like, no. Uh, of course I haven't. It was my foot on the thing. There's just those little yeah. granular details of everyday life that they allow to happen. And so many dramas don't allow this stuff they because the what they do is they'll look at the script and they'll look at the paper and they'll go surplus to requirement, not essential to the plot. And actually sometimes stuff that isn't essential to the plot is the most essential to characterisation. The inconsequential stuff yeah. gives us the real sense of the person's yeah. life outside of the sort of narrative drive yeah, if you exactly. want, isn't it? You exactly. can just be like, mm. Yeah, utterly, utterly brilliant. Um and they did Oh a... my god, it was such a good reveal about her friend, because we thought he was a paedophile, her, her friend's husband, but it just turned out he was a dirty dog uh, with having affairs. But oh, I right. think mm. I think he is the father of Erin's brother. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make something even more sort of disgusting. I think him and his brother were both responsible for something to do with yeah. that girl. I think they, so do I. Yeah, but I think that would, I think that would make him a having, paedophile. They were both having sex with her. That would make him a paedophile. No, he's a paedophile, yeah. Oh, I no, no, but up until that point we thought he was Head of a paedophile ring. No, we thought there was something going on with his son, didn't right. we? And then we thought, oh, and then we were, and then we thought, oh God, it's not. He's just been having an affair. He's a bit mm. of a dirty dog with his wife. And then we twisted again and go, oh my God, is he the father of Erin's baby? Well, I think he is. The, no, I think. Oh, he's the father. Yeah. I think the younger brother has done something, but the older one wants to now bump him off because there's a gun in his fucking toolbox. Yeah, but. Meanwhile, they're screaming at Mayor, stop, because they've seen the photograph. We don't know what's in the photograph. And they did the classic, which worked really well, actually, because it's a really kind of obvious trope. They cut as she was walking into the next As scene. she, like, mid-step. Literally. Everyone's going nuts online about What do you think is going to happen? You know Stephen happen? King's watching it. Is he? And he's going, I have my theory, I'll tell you next week. But you know what? Right. I... I was like, well, how do we, we know that that was your theory? You need to write it down somewhere first, otherwise you might pretend but I think it. this is like top draw Stephen King. I think this is better than some Stephen King's. Because it's so layered and there's so much character and God, people aren't archetypes. It's brilliant. You know, I love yeah. a good murder thriller. I also love a, I love a programme where Mystery. everyone can be annoying, horrible and nice as characters. Well, because we are all, all, all of yeah, those exactly. things. Why, and even more so with women, they have to be so two-dimensional, you know. Oh, it's, it's, such a, it's such a rich part for her. This is, she's going she's gonna to have to win an Emmy. She will. She, she has to win an Emmy for this. It's this so is going to win so many awards. Oh my God. Is it going to come back? I wonder if there's going to be a sequel. I want a sequel. I don't want to leave this world. Maddie said, I feel like I know them all so well, I don't want to leave them. No, it wasn't. It was Kiki. It's Kiki who said that, not Maddie. There you go, guys. What do okay, you think is going to happen? Enjoyed our review. Tell Hit us what's going to happen. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And also just have a little look around the channel. Yeah, Loads do. of other stuff going on. Loads.